everyone. Hello to a, a typical, normal, average, whatever Sunday. Just kidding. It's Packers Playoff Sunday. Woo woo. I got my earrings. I got my shirt. I got my pack of pants. I'm ready to go. Except we don't have the food yet. So that's what I'm working on today. But before I get into the food, I need to show off our new amazing stove. <laughs> we needed a new stove. Um, I know I don't use it a ton live. I plan on using it live, not this weekend. I'm still figuring it out a little bit, but we had an electric stove and um, one of the burner elements went out, like the middle ring of it went out and the oven part itself wasn't making the best sound. So we decided it's time to upgrade. Let's do this. Let's get gas. Super excited. Um, we had a little bit of an issue figuring out how to run the gas line. Thank you to Tom's Heating Service of Waukesha. They figured out how to run the gas line. Um, we have some solid ceilings and solid walls in our basement because we have like a theater room downstairs and we didn't want to bust into that ceiling at all so they were able to figure that out. But one of the things that you need to have when you have a gas stove is you have to have a vent and we our vent did not go out on our last one. It just like looped around the microwave. So as you can see right there, we have a new decorative vent pipe that goes out through the roof to keep us safe obviously and exhaust the gas out of the house. Um, but I have to figure out what to do with that. So um, I don't know if I'm gonna build out around it, you know, square it off, make it rustic. Our house kind of has a rustic vibe to it. Um, I gotta look at some ideas and see how other people do it. So we also lost a little bit of storage in that cabinet, not a big deal. Um, but we lost a little bit when they had to run the pipe out. But again, better safe than sorry. But super excited, got my gas stove. It's got the griddle portion in the middle. I'm so excited to use it more and more. I'm gonna use it with you guys on here as well. Um, we have like a turbo burner on the front of it. So it heats up water super duper fast. We did get the protective covers. I recommend these on Amazon for anybody who has kids, pets, whatever. We've heard stories of pets even bumping it and turning the gas on. Those covers protect little fingers from getting in there and bumping it. Us from bumping it, anything like that, and having gas just flow into the house without it actually being on, um, or they can't turn it on themselves. So, done with the stove, super excited, super duper excited. Um, you know, it wasn't supposed to come until March, and it came early. So, yay to Best Buy for being able to fit us in and be one of the 10 that they got in, because appliances are hard to come by right now. But, anyways, back to today's treat. So. Thinking about what I was gonna make for today, having a few, 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 very few people over for the game, but needed something that was gonna be um, exciting and, and, and fit the theme of the day. And we have a friend, Caroline, that makes this amazing Packers salad. That's what it's called. Um, and so I'm gonna make it today. So I am by no means trying to make her salad. Hers is made with that extra love and attention. And so mine is going to be the interpretation of hers using all of the ingredients she told me to use for this one. But it's still, I know, not gonna taste the same because Caroline Penny did not make it. So um, what I have here first is I have one box of elbow macaroni that I cooked and then you have to rinse and chill completely. And then she told me to douse it with a little bit of olive oil, stir it up in there and then let it like completely, completely chill in the fridge. So that I did all prior. So that was in the fridge, everything like that. I pulled it out of the fridge, I gave it a good stir. Noodles, you know, sometimes like to stick together. The olive oil helped, so that didn't happen. And so we've got all of these noodles here. Now here's the super easy part, and here's why it's called Packer Salad. We've got peas, green, and we've got cheese, gold. So a little bit of onion, ham as well, and then the mayo. And that's it, it's super easy, it comes together super well. Um, the game is not for a little less than four hours away, so this is gonna sit and all the flavors are gonna meld together in the fridge and it's just a really nice side. Um, we're gonna grill out. I know we got snow yesterday and our grill is actually off the deck down below, uh, but my husband is gonna grill the brats, so I'm gonna boil them on the stove. We're gonna take them downstairs and grill them. And we're gonna have brats, packer salad, and a few other fun things, and brownies for dessert, because of course. And then, you know, every time the Packers score a touchdown, we've got to have a little treat, a little encouragement treat. And, you know, got some fun stuff lined up for that too. So, I am throwing in, I'm gonna start with about half of this bag of peas. She did say the entire bag of peas, but I'm gonna start with half and just take a look and see how it goes. So, the peas, they're still frozen, that's fine. They will thaw by the time we eat this. So, either allow yourself enough time beforehand so that they can thaw out, or let the bag completely thaw before you add it in. So I've got the peas in there. 
I am adding, it's about two to three tablespoons of onion. I might have diced up a little bit more, not a big deal. And I am using Colby Jack. I believe Caroline either uses Colby or just cheddar in hers. Um, but we had Colby Jack in the house. That's what we really like here. So I diced up a big chunk of cheese. I'm just gonna stir that around a little bit. I'm making sure that it looks, you know, enough green and goldish. And now, thank you to the store, they sell diced ham. Um, it's usually either found by the lunch meat in some stores or actually in the meat department. And so they just have this pre-diced up ham, which saves you a ton of time. And again, I'm gonna start with half of the package. Pop it in there. This makes a lot. As you can see, this is a really large bowl compared to me, like it's a huge bowl. And this makes a lot of hacker salad, but it lasts for a few days. So I'll be taking this to work and enjoying it for lunch. Um, we'll just be eating it all the time. What, what's not to love? Everything in here is really, really yummy. So, all right, that looks good so far. I'm gonna add a little bit. Ah, we'll just add the rest of the ham. Everybody loves ham, right? All right, so. Give me your predictions, but if your predictions say that the Packers are going to lose, I don't want to hear it, so don't write it on my video. <laughs> but what do you think the final score is going to be? Um, if anybody does guess it absolutely correct, I might have a prize for you. So give me your predictions as to what the final score is of the game. Um, you know, or, or even as close as Packers up by and fill in the blank. So, um, all right. Now I'm back into my love of Duke's Mayo. I did find out that I can actually buy this in like a larger tub now but I just still have these squeezy pouches. So I am just gonna start, and obviously this is a big salad, it's gonna take a lot, but I'm using Duke's Mayo on this. I believe Caroline uses Hellman's. Um, I don't know about Miracle Whip in this one because it has the tangy zip. It would definitely add a very, very different flavor. So that is my first bit. I know I'm gonna need more, but I wanna stir this around first, just so that, a little overboard, no big deal. Um, just so that I know how much more to add. I don't think I need to add this entire pouch. Um, you know, Caroline does this pretty much from memory because she's been using it so often. So some of her advice was just, you know, add, add a dollop and see how it goes and stuff like that. So I did not do the magic of TV and have this pre-opened for myself. There we go, nice little pull tab. And there we go. You know, utilizing things I have in the house, we don't typically have like Hellman's Mayo in the house because we are a little bit more of a Miracle Whip family as I've shared on here before. But these little Duke's pouches are super helpful. Um, they are a one cup measurement, which actually I feel it's a little bit more generous than a cup, um, but it's like a one cup measurement on there, which is really awesome so that you know, you don't have a ton of it laying around if you don't have people that totally love it. But, all right, this is looking so good. I think I stirred it up pretty good. All right, here we go. I'll show you guys the final product. Dun, da, da, da. I'll take a close-up picture for you guys as well. But Packer salad, green and gold. You know, the red chopped in there is for love, the ham, <laughs> the love of the Packers, the noodles. Um, so yeah, we're gonna enjoy this. Super easy, super come together. Go Pack Go, super excited. Um, I might pop on later this week and talk to you guys about something else. I don't think I'm gonna wait all the way till next weekend. Cause I already have stuff in the house for this and I want to get you guys thinking a little bit early you know February we're getting into the month of love how can we share love with our loved ones or show love with our loved ones when we necessarily maybe can't see all of them um, I've got some cool ideas for you guys from a local shop in Waukesha so I want to share that and I might not wait all the way until next week but we'll see we'll see how busy my week gets but go Packers go Packers go Pack Go um, we're gonna enjoy this we're gonna enjoy our brats we're gonna watch the game stay off social media just watch the game. Gotta be fully into it. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Go back.